Welcome to another battle report folks. This is another Bagration warm-up game that we're playing. It's another distance game that we're playing as well um, because of the, the lockdown situation in Scotland. I mentioned in the last game that we're looking to see how we can share these games live. We're using um, various ways of doing this and th the best way of sharing it live that we've found so far anyway is uh, YouTube. And we have a setup where we've got multiple cameras that we can use. And we can we can stream okay, you know, we can use the cameras okay, but there is a delay of 20 seconds, roughly, between um, me doing something and then it's showing on screen. So me and Brian, if you as you imagine, we're talking um, on, over Messenger. Are talking live but then everything I'm sh I'm moving for instance he's seeing it 20 seconds later and then forgetting why the hell um, it was getting moved so we can get around that but in a way that isn't very good for sharing so if there's any technical boards out there that can tell us how to get around this 20 second delay there's, n there's no settings on YouTube or on uh, the Streamlab software I'm using that allows a, a, a change you, you can make changes but in real terms, it always ends up with 20 second delay. Any technical boards out there have got any ideas? Then stick it down in the comments below. After the lockdown is done, we can be in the same room and do these games live. And we've got it in quite an interesting setup with um, three cameras. So it can be quite involving for everybody. And we'll certainly do that once the lockdown is over. Hopefully it will be over. Uh, but until then, we're just going to have me going through the turns. I'm going to roll my own dice and Brian saves and such likes to keep it as interesting and involving as possible um, for the viewers. And they're talking about involving as well. Don't forget, guys, you know, like we're doing this to share with you. So if you see something that's wrong with the rules, something that's wrong with the tactics, better deployments, all these kind of things that you as a player are picking up on share them in the comments um you know get a bit of, bit of talk around the games as well as just uh, viewing them so this is another eastern front game this time we've got a proper eastern front style table we're going to be using o'brien will be using a panzer grenadier formation with some support and i'll be using a hero motor rifle formation with hero t-34s so let's go through the lists. As you can see, by the way, um, this general list kind of looks as though it outnumbers the Soviet list, which is quite unusual, but that's heroes for you, and that's Panzer Grenadiers for the Germans. You get so much stuff. So, core formation for the Germans. I've got two platoons of Panzer Grenadiers with the company HQ. The Panzer Grenadier platoons have got the Panzerfaust option. No Shreks, because it was eating up too much points. Then... Part, still part of the same formation, they've got heavy machine gun platoon, four mortars, and four stumos. And for extra uh, firepower, they've got two grills. So that's really quite a strong force. It doesn't have any tank guns. Uh, we, we deliberately chose to put a more mobile kind of list together, but you could get anti tank guns on this by. Uh, get some pack 40s or 88s um, by doing something with the heavy machine guns and the grills. You could, you could swap them out. But uh, Brian want to try these heavy machine guns to see if they can be moving up to an important point in their half tracks, getting out and uh, immediately putting uh, me under pressure. So, support is two pounds of four platoons, a platoon of, or a battery of three wasps with uh, the Panzer three spotter. And it's a nice, neat split. Um, those guys there, the Panzer Fours, are, uh, I think, 44 points. So um, it's a good split for reserves. A good 60 40 split. Now, <coughs> excuse me, Soviets. So I've got two platoons of Hero Motor Rifles. So they're 10 bases plus a Commissar. I've also got six. Uh, heavy machine guns, six mortars, that's the company command in front of them. 
357 Milanic tank guns. Now they're quite nasty. Um, they've got an, a, a, only a firepower of four instead of three, but the Milanic tank is 11. So you can imagine front armor six, like on a Panzer four, is really going to struggle against that. And that is the core formation. As you can see. Now these guys are uh, they're aggressive, but they've got a veteran skill rating and they hit on a 2 plus in assault. Uh, they are so it's quite nasty if they get into assault. They are confident provided the commissar's alive, but if they lose a commissar they go down to um, reluctant. Oh no, sorry, they're fearless with the commissar. And then they go down to confident. But I'll double check that. Then in support, we have a battery of 76mm artillery, a battery of 122mm artillery, and a wee observer in a B64. Uh, I, you can take 152mm artillery, but uh, they're noticeably more expensive. So I'm quite happy to stick with the 122 and just get more artillery and support. And then the, the hero T-34s are aggressive, but once again they've got a better skill rating. Um, smaller platoons as well compared to I mean, fours the size of the platoon, you know, compared to the ordinary T-34s. And it's a nice neat split again. Those are reserve and those are all deployed on a table. So that's a good 60-40 split. Now we're going to be playing the mission contact. We'll go through that once we've got everything set up. But it's a good mission because both of us, even though um, it's going to be myself, the, there's a nominal defender, both sides have to take an opponent's objective to win. So it's, it's going to be an interesting game. We've got to get stuck in about each other. Uh, so we're going to go over to deployment and review the mission as well, just to make sure you're familiar with it. It's like the old hasty attack mission, but with some differences for version 4. So we'll come back once we're ready to go through all of that, folks. Here's the mission, folks. As you can see, both attacker and defender have objectives to take and to hold. The defender's deployment zone is a bit bigger than the attacker. And then as far as special rules go, the defender's got an ambush. They have uh, delayed, scattered delayed reserves. You can see the dice safe for where they come on. That's, you know, once you've successfully rolled for reserves, you nominate what's coming on, and then you roll a dice to see where they arrive. So from my point of view, uh, that means my T-34s could come on piecemeal and just a bit anywhere. But that makes the game more interesting. And as I said, I've got an ambush that'll be my 57 mils, which could really hurt. The, um, there's no minefields, I'm glad to see. And... Uh, there is, even though this is kind of kind of like a meeting engagement, there's still ranged in markers to be placed before the game begins. And there's quite a lot of artillery on here. Um, so that could be uh, significant. So we're going to go across to deployment and cover that and then go to turn one. Deployment is complete. Let's go through um, what we've done. So, we just use the big clunky deployment zone markers, but it's just something I've put together. We normally use Brian's nice lit cool ones, but uh, I don't have any. I can't seem to find any online. So, you can see the front row of white lines is the extent of the German deployment zone, and then there's a box eight inches in from the sides and the back edge for objectives. The defender gets a bigger deployment zone, but the objectives box is also bigger. Now, I place two in this side, and Brian places two in that side. So my objectives have gone down here, and here. And remember, I've got to take objectives, even though I'm the defender. And then Brian's placed one on the forward slope of that hill and in the wood. Now, my deployment, the T-34s are in reserve, remember delayed scattered reserves, and 57mm anti-tank guns is this threes, 
are in ambush. So, come to command there, infantry platoon here. Now there's a ranged in marker for the wasps and the grills, so that's why I'm kind of off to this side. Then I've got 122 artillery, 76 mil artillery, infantry platoon, and uh, sorry, mortar platoon, heavy machine gun platoon, and they're back enough, close enough to defend the objective, but not with, under the template. Then observer, and then infantry platoon here. I think this bit of terrain could be quite important. So I've not put my infantry platoon sitting on that objective because I have to think aggressively, not just entirely defensively. So Brian has got in reserve two platoons of three Panzer Force, everything else on the table. So he's got Panzer Grenadier Platoon plus Company Command, Stumals, Wesps, Mortar Half Tracks, Panzer Three Observer. I'm actually making a dedicated Panzer Three Observer figure that's a model that's just a Panzer Three, um, a general Panzer Three. The Grills, Heavy Machine Gun Platoon, Panzer Grenadier Platoon. So we're ready to go with first. Oh, did I mention that? Yeah, mortars. That's my mortars ranged in there. 76 mils and one two twos. So we're ready to go. Attack gets first turn. We'll come back after um, Brian's did his opening move. Chairman turn one. So no reserves. So in terms of movement, heavy machine guns moved up and have successfully shooted and scooted to deploy into here. They've moved up, but Brian's kept them in the half tracks. The artillery units have all stayed still. Then these guys moved up. Uh, Brian was worried. So this, this was good cover for him, good approach, but um, he was worried about uh, the ranged in markers. So he's moved up around here with the stumos to the front. And then in terms of firing, the Stumos tried to shoot, they could see two artillery pieces, tried to shoot, but because of range, concealment and going to ground, didn't get any hits. The um, the girl stayed put there, managed to get a hit on one base of infantry, but didn't um, didn't kill it this turn, managed the saves. And then the Wesps ranged in here, and the Mortars ranged in here, the West managed to get a couple of hits and a kill. The Mortar got a hit, but no kills. But they are in a, a spot of bother now because they've only got a four up save. They're not like anti tank guns, so they'll probably start withering away. So, um, two pronged attack coming in from Brian at the moment, and it's kind of, to be honest, blunted what I plan to be my one pronged attack over there because it's now full of heavy machine guns. But I've got a lot of stuff over there, so I'll see what I can do about that and what I can do with this as well. But a good strong start from Brian. Soviet turn one, in terms of the starting step, the infantry unpinned but the 76mm artillery didn't. I'm not getting any reserves this turn. I've decided to pop my ambush now. That sticks my anti-tank gun all the way out in the flank. But if I'm lucky I'll cause a bit of damage, significant bit of damage and at least secure that objective and perhaps save my own artillery. Um, because those demos and infantry could cause them a bit of damage. Uh, and over here I'm just staying put so that I can do some clobbering on the church. So let's start off now because of um, where I am this is tricky with the 16 inch rule for ambition if you're not in concealment. One guy is within 16 inches, that's a guy in the wood He's just within six inches of the guys to the left as you're looking at it. So the other guys are outside 16. I'm going to get six shots within long range and six within, sorry, two within shot. So the long range shots are going to need fives. There's two hits. And the short range, this is against the Stumos by the way. The Stumos get, uh, get, the short range gets one. So can't save against it, so it's going to be three hits each. 
and just going to do one, two, three, then three. So straight to firepower. That's going to be two dead in one build, which is quite sore, but to be honest, I think um, the uh, stimulus quite often go that way. They're, they're a bit of a soft target, but they're too juicy to um, just to ignore. So I'm now going to try and range in with my artillery into the middle, so it'll be the heavies, just into the middle of that lot there. Um, there won't be any terrain, I'll just double check. There you go, be over here. Oops, and can keep that off terrain, but still get everybody. So I'll need a fort range in first time, I'll get a five. Oh dear, oh dear. So, build demo first, hit on a four, nope. The live one at the end, nope. Then the half tracks. One, two, three, four. This one here takes a hit. His top armor zero against anti tank three and rolls a three, so a chance to bail him on a three. A two. It's quite often the case uh, with half, uh, artillery against armor stuff. It's a lot of dice to roll before you get any kills. Company command is also hit. His save is a six. So they're okay. Um, these guys can't do any bombardments because they're kind of pinned and they're not in range of anything for direct fire, so they're just going to have to sit and go, oh dear. Um, can always pull them back, but I've missed that opportunity. And anyway, they're dug in there. If they pull back, they might not get out of the template and not be dug in. So I'm going to go over here now and work out all the shooting. The heavy machine guns are in short range off the church. So that's a six base platoon. So basically this massive pile of dice twice across the summer to roll it. There we go. There'll be fives needed. So one, two, three, four, five, that's six. But I've got to roll it all again. Quite tricky to do with one hand. Just going to do it in bits, folks. Six, seven, eight, nine. That's nine so far. Ten. Okay, so that's going to be. There's four bases in there, so two are going to take three saves. There's one potential fail. One's another potential fail. So two so far I've got potential. Oh, another one. Another one. Right, okay, so there's four chances to kill on a six up. Just gonna because they're all in the church, I'm just gonna roll the dice. And zilch. Okay, so the mortars are gonna try and range in there now. And um, they're gonna need a a five because they've uh, trained and it's terrain. Second attempt, okay, so the way I'm looking, I'm just going to see if I can, no, I'm not really going to be able to get the half tracks, but there are four mortars in here, uh, four heavy machine guns, and I would need five, so I've got two hits, so they've got to make two saves. There's one, a fail, so it's a four up. Two, so it's okay. But that's the. Let's see. What is ranged in. And then I'm going to have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So the uh, nine bases plus uh, command. So we'll do this. Batches again, folks, because it's a lot of dice. But this is the infantry platoon. That's one hit, two, three, three hits all together, plus company command and cost salary. They're showing the guys how we do it. So 
one base takes two hits is okay and then the other bases, head machine guns again folks one hit each, two have failed but once again they're fine heavily pinned but they're very very much still alive though they now have to worry about the mortars being ranged in there but next turn they can maybe do something about that and they've got plenty of support for them right so there you go folks out of a hell of a lot of shooting there was loads and loads of hits but two destroyed and one bale stumo that's the most significant thing but also my ambush stuck away out here so over to Brian for his turn two and he'll have two dice for reserves Gemma turn two so one reserve came on and Brian switched what I think was his original axis of attack to over here Tens of motivation incidentally the uh, Stumo got back in then Tens of movement he's done a bug out with that Panzer Grenadier platoon he maybe should have stayed <laughs> as you'll see why um, the Panzer Grenadier platoon here moved up HMG half tracks moved up HMG's unpinned as well and then in terms of shooting it was Revenge of the Stumals four shots and two kills the um, grills stayed in position because they had one anti-tank gun under the Tempo 2 but only managed an uh, infantry kill then the mortars successfully ranged in against the mortars the uh, wests tried to join them but they, um, they couldn't roll above a three so that, that would have been very useful if they could have killed a few of my mortars uh, but they're pinned and then his heavy machine guns with the support of his half tracks managed to pin my heavy machine guns and then the other, oh excuse me, half tracks and a shot from the uh, Panzer IVs managed to kill two bases of my hero rifle over there. So three bases infantry, two powerful anti-tank guns destroyed and some useful pins on the table. That's not too bad a turn. So I'll see what I can do. Still no reserves for me, but I've got some important unpinning to do. Unpinning the infantry, the company commands close enough for a reroll and two ones ain't gonna do it the um, artillery needing a four they've unpinned the mortars needing a four get a one. Oh, that's good for Brian and then my heavy machine guns get a one <laughs> and then my infantry at the end they took quite a few hits as well and got pinned um, oh no they didn't no they just uh, just failed a lot of saves okay so that wasn't very good I've got those guys unpinned so they can at least get busy um, and they've been unpinned but the important stuff that was hitting back at the church not unpinned right I'll go over to my movement next I'm going to start with some direct fire first what's left of this infantry platoon shooting at the heavy machine guns I'm needing fives so they get one two three four five six that's not too bad not too bad at all okay so two of heavy machine guns in the church i'll take two hits that's two saves one's failed no one's failed so it's two potential right and then the other ones i'll take single hits i wonder they're not very good at making saves these heavy machine guns but i need sixes oh well that does it then <clears throat> Excuse me folks, three sixes, that's ridiculous. So, um, right. Uh, that's quite a sore one. These heavy machine guns, because they're pinned, they're moving rate of fire. It's only two. So heavy machine guns are not very effective when they're pinned. But they're going for the surviving heavy machine gun. And only get one hit. And the save is a four, so he's fine. The mortars can't fire, but that was a sore one. That's um, three. That effectively that unit dealt with. Uh, right. So, in terms of other shooting, I think the seventy-six mils are going to try and range in on the half tracks. 
So they're going to need a five. They're trained, but the terrain underneath the template. They're all a three, a three, and a three. At least they're consistent. My one, two, twos, I'm going to use my observer, who's on the hill. See if I can get him shot. Oh, those juicy targets over there. So, um, I can place it so there's no terrain under the template. Five, so it's a hit. So I'll just go. I'd imagine I can get everything. But let's just double check. Yeah, you can, I can see there and that gets everything. So, it'll be three wesks. One, two, three, but they're okay. And then, company command half track. I'll get a roll of threes. And then one, two, three, four. Just the one. Takes a hit. Top zero against high attack three. Chance to bail it. So I get a four, so it's bailed. So one of them is bailed. That's it. <laughs> Not the most effective brass artillery. It's an attritional weapon. The, um, these guys here have not got anything to shoot at. They'll just be staying put. Built magnets. So there you go. Uh, three dead heavy machine guns, one bailed half track. Not too bad a result. Um, and next turn I'll roll for reserves. So Brian will get his last reserves on automatically next turn as well. Seven turn three. So last reserves came in. The heavy machine gun um, is past the last stand but did not unpin. And in terms of movement, oh, this didn't get back in either. So these guys are dashing off that way. They've left the half track behind. It's a five plus remount, so it's probably going to be out for a while. Um, the West blitzed uh, out of that template. These guys did a blitz shot and a, and a subsequent shoot and scoop to end up where they are. The half tracks just stay put. The um, Panzer Fours moved up, reserves came on behind them, so there's another solid chunk of Panzer Fours. Really comes down to where my reserves come on and for how. Uh, that's going to um, square up on, on that flank. And then in terms of shooting, you know, you can only see one red marker down there. So Brian didn't have a very successful shooting this turn, even though these guys were um, already ranged in against him. He only got um, one kill, a couple of hits, four hits rather, and all, all ended up with one kill. Then over here, he's ranged in his wesps and his grill. Um, his girls successfully ranged in but got no hits so um, there was um, no casualties there you can start whittling down that important platoon but uh, no casualties these guys successfully did all the manoeuvring but only got one hit and it was a save so not the most effective turn but I can see Brian now moving out to the other flag. I'll have to see where my reserves come on and formulate a plan. It's not just about defending for me, remember. I have to attack too. Soviet turn three. I got a reserve in straight away in a row for that bottom corner there. Now I did have the option of coming on further up the table and getting some shots at short range against the Panzer IVs, but experience tells me that it looks great. But you come on with your moving rate of fire, get a few hits, you maybe opponent maybe fails to save, you maybe pass your firepower, and then you're kind of just left when the dust clears standing there, going on, oh, everyone's still alive and they're going to have their full rate of fire against me next turn. So I kept it back at long range from the Panzer IVs and able to shoot up those half tracks. Uh, or the, um, the mortars and the heavy machine guns unpinned. Over here, as you can see I'm coming forward. I could just sit there and hold that objective, but I might get lucky and get some reserves on here as well, and then I can get a push on towards that, knowing Brian's tanks are over there. Could be a bit of one of those swirling pivoting kind of games. So 
here I, I moved out and managed, managed successful following these. And I've also just noticed as well, got a short through here and it's just in range. So we'll go into some shooting then. Um, starting with the single shot at long range, looking for sixes against these guys because they've got concealment, four normally, five concealment, six for range, a one and a three. So you needn't worry about that. So the mortars at that house, they're going to try and get some payback against them because there is only one heavy machine gun in the church. So I'm going to need a five terrain gin, four normally for train, plus one for terrain. Three, one, that's going really, really well, and six. So, the best I can do against these guys is bail them out, by the way, but might as well. Um, so, third attempt, so I'm going to need sixes to hit, normally fours, five, six for the, the two attempts. So one, two, three, four, two hits. So, same on this guy, and other guy, yeah, he's fine. Top armor zero, but mana tank is only one. Okay, so now, all these heavy machine guns are going to open up again on the church. So I'm just going to sort the dice out for that. So it's going to be a bucket load of dice. I'm going to actually split it between the half track, half tracks and the heavy machine gun. So it's against heavy machine gun. Two hits and then it's another six dice. Well cocked. Three hits, so he's got three saves to make. A one, a four, and a six. So that one is a potential fail. And I roll a five, so he's okay. And then might as well. Oh, in fact, that's just that. I should have just kept shooting the head machine gun. Because if I kill him, the half tracks go away anyway. Not an idea. Okay, so these should at least be easier to hit. So there's three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. No, that was too much. Three. <laughs> Sorry, folks. Three, four, five. So, one half track's got three safe to make. It's a potential bail and a potential bail. So both have potential bails on them. Yeah, two and a three, they're fine. Now the infantry are going to stay on the ground here, they've, they've not got a hell of a lot of targets that they can shoot at and they'll be more survivable against all those Panzer Grenadiers. So I've got four shots at short range from these T-34s against these guys and as concealment because of the intervening hedge by the road that wouldn't hit anything even in the open. Um, so. Four misses. And see, that's why it, it can be really tricky coming on and trying to attack tanks straight away from reserve. So I've still got um, some more artillery to use. So I'm going to try and range in with these guys against the mortar half tracks. Third attempt. So one, two, three. No, needed sixes because it's a third attempt, so no hits, but they are at least ranged in. So there's two, I'll just put my marker down, two batteries ranged in there. And then the heavies are going to try and get the wisps. So, don't know if I can place that. Oh, it's just about still on table yet, so I can get it. So there's no terrain, but it's going to be quite far back. Um, first attempt. Okay, so three wasps. One, two, three. Oh. Right, so that's three hits. So that top armor is zero. One, two, three. Ah, but that, that'll do. Um, three saves. But they're back under the template now. And that's about it really for shooting folks. There's no 
she fancy shooting and scooting nonsense uh, with my Soviets. Um, so over to Brian for his turn four. All his forces are committed. So we'll see what his reaction might be to that and then how he keeps the pressure up on that. Tim in turn four. So in terms of movement, these guys move back around to face up to that threat. Oh yeah, he's still held out. Uh, heavy machine gun stayed and unpinned but kept his head down. Um, the half tracks moved over out of the way of the line of sight. Um, of these guys. These guys were able to tactically move up onto the hill. And then in terms of shooting, today was a bad day. Now this turn even was a bad day to be a Soviet indirect fire weapon crewman. Two mortars got killed by the mortars and then combination of the wesps and the grills killed three, the one two twos in one turn. All the shooting through here though, uh, they fired at anti tank gun and uh, missed. But all the shooting got loads and loads of hits so they're well and truly pinned but no kills um, on that platoon that's moving up. And then over here, all the direct fire coming from half tracks caused several hits, a couple of failed saves, but no successful fire powers. So a good turn for Brian there. Oh, and, sorry, firing it. The Panzer Force, uh, these ones managed to get a kill. I've not placed a marker on yet, but the guy at the end is dead. And then these managed to completely miss. Um, they've got a single hit. So my turn four coming up, two days for reserves. See if I can get anything. Motivation. Everything that needed to unpin, did unpin. But one of them probably ran away, that single gun that was remaining, and it legged it. These guys, apart from a couple of guys at the end, everybody's in bulletproof cover now. There's a lot of guys in the church. Everything else has stayed still. No reserves, sorry, no reserves. I've got three dice next turn. I could have done with some reserves this turn, but there you go. Um, if I get two platoons on, in the same turn in the same place next turn, I'll be happy. But that's it for movement, so I've got still plenty to push forward. Unfortunately, I've not been able to do what I hoped and get rid of these wesps. And I've got some choices with these guys. There is a bit of potential direct fire against one of the half tracks, or I can keep trying to kill them. So it's going to be a long shot to actually destroy them. Um, but we'll go over to uh, shooting. This guy's going to try and get the wefts again. He's, he can potentially hit the stumals, but a wefts juicy target. So, three or two. This guy could have go through it some of those half tracks. Uh, three and a four. <laughs> uh, these, this platoon here is one, two, three, four. Six shots from rifle bases and then two, or rifle MG bases and two from just rifle bases. Oh my goodness. Uh, one solid hit on a half track. Arrows are five for it's safe, so there is no impact there. These mortars might as well have a go at. Well, then he's done already. I'll try and do some damage there. So, one, two, three, four. That's going to be two hits because they're trained and they're already ranged in. Save as a four and a five. So they're fine. They're not worried. Right. Over here, what am I going to do? I think I'm going to shoot. Just wait until a quick range check. Excuse me. Right, three of these heavy machine guns, those three there are going to shoot the Panzer Grenadier platoon, and those three, just because of where they're at, are going to shoot the church. So starting with the shooting against the heavy machine gun of the church, 
in sixes. Two so far. Three. So three saves for the heavy machine gun. And it's fine, we do it like that. Right, and then we're going to do the same again. This time against the Panzer Grenadiers and the half tracks. Three. Now, the last guy is up on a hill, so there's not going to be any concealment. One, two, three. Three. So that's six altogether. So two of the half tracks will have to take two saves. That's one potential fail. And then two more make one save. Okay, one of those half tracks rolled a one. Two, I'm going to do it. I needed a six. So the T 34s, there at the back here, but they're at long range against these guys. So um, they're going to be concealed as well, so I'm going to use sixes. Right, here we go. This would be a handy one, folks. And I managed to get one six. Right, so the front armour of a Panzer IV is six, goes up to seven against anti tank 12. That's a one. So if I get a three, that's, I have to say I was cocked. I got a six, okay, I think it was dead. Right, so um, I'm going to try and get the guy at the very back. Um, and we'll say Brian tries to put it the guy at the front just because of the backs. It doesn't. So the guy at the back's away. It's just that's going to be terrain. That'll slow his movement if he comes. Oh, it's the, it makes no difference. The hill's terrain anyway. Um, so, um, managed to kill that. So that's not bad. So these guys are going to stay going to ground because there's just far too many machine gun shots coming at them. They've no real prospect of doing anything against them. Uh, that leaves these guys. So I think they're going to have to try and do something about them with mortar attacks. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's two hits because they're already ranged down. So the end two. So the anti tank of two, a three and a five just doesn't worry them at all. So they're quite okay. Uh, and that's it for firing so hardly successful. At least I've killed a Panzer IV. German turn five. So the heavy machine gun is sticking about, sticking around. Uh, this guy got back in and was rejoining the unit. Uh, the the West Brian wanted them back out of the range of any tank guns. Um, they still mostly put, but shooted and scooted, but it caused many damage. Over here, uh, the West fired, but they needed a lot to hit and didn't get it. Uh, but there were bucket loads of machine gun shots into here. Quite a few fails, but that six up firepower just wasn't there. These guys kept firing down at the mortars, and there's only one mortar left in that platoon. The heavy machine guns there took an absolute pasting from the half tracks. Lots of failed saves, but um, no pass firepowers. And then here, Panzer Fours on the hill managed to bail on one of those T-34s, but these guys managed to get four hits. Uh, one of them saved, one the double bail, um, was a, another bail, and it failed his motivation and then one was destroyed. Um, double bail got two hits on it, one of which saved. So, only one T-34 left over there. The infantry are still in half decent neck, but Hmm, looking pretty exposed. It's hard to imagine how I'm going to try and hold on to that and push through for an attack on here. But at the end of the day, when my reserves come on, will determine where I'm going to be able to push back. Not a hell of a lot of movement from that turn, folks. Uh, first of all, he stayed. I, everything else that was pinned on pinned. I've got one platoon of reserves on. I couldn't roll a, a five. So I've got the one automatic and I rolled a four so I can come along the back edge. I've brought them in here with a view to messing about with this objective. I could have gone defensive, but I might just be feeding 
okay we are over here um putting another platoon in to lose one tank one turn maybe another two tanks the next turn um so i'm, I'm going to try and attack with it these guys are going to stay going to ground uh they don't have a lot of chance of hurting them they, they might as well try and protect himself and I'm not considering that tank guns. One of that tank guns got a shot, one doesn't. So I'll probably move the one that doesn't have a shot and um, we'll do that in the shooting phase. So I'll get everything ready and we'll get some dice rolls, see if I can get some payback. That's the only artillery weapons I've got left. They're ranged in already on the half track, so I'm just going to keep trying to chip away at them. Um, so it's four half tracks. Just doing them in line. Oh, I won one, a two, and a two. <laughs> Holy smoke. Right, the um, T3485s are in range of these half tracks here. Lots and lots of interfering terrain, so they're going to need sixes. Not very good. Let's see now one. Let's do so I've just got to do a quick double check, see if this guy was able to get into. So, so it's gonna be three dice at long range. One of them is in the open, this guy's in the open. Oh, and one and a two. And another guy who's with his concealment, a four. So no. Needed we needed a six there. Um so not very successful so far. Over here the heavy machine guns are going to do the same as before. So let me see, just sort my dice out, folks. So it's going to be three heavy machine guns at the got the ground heavy machine gun in the church. And there's one, two, three, four, potential ones so far. Four. So four save oh sorry. Yeah. Four saves for the guy in the church. Two potential kills on him. He's fine. A one and a two. Excellent. Right, the um, other head machine guns going for the half tracks. Now, two of them will be looking for five. So, there's one, two, three, four. And then one of them has got the advantage of a higher position. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that's nine. So one of them is going to take three. I don't think it really matters. I'll just roll. So he's fine. And then the rest are going to take two. One, two, three. Well, this I want each on them. So a six will result in a bail. Eh, no. So, Mr. Lone Survivor. Two shots up at the hill. Gets a hit, gets a six. So Brian's front armour will be 7 at that range against my 12. He rolls a 4, so no, not quite. So, I roll a 6. Oh. Do you know what? That's not a bad trade-off. So, that's another... I'm just going to put it on him. I don't think it really matters. But he, he'll be dead. And just because my commander's feeling as if he knows what he's doing, he's going to try a shooting scoot. And he gets a 5. So he's adding insult to injury. Um... Once again, folks, excuse me whilst I do a quick bit of measuring. Yeah, he is going to go to position where the other pans of fours are going to have to move considerably to see him. I could just put him right out of the line of sight, to be honest, but. He might just run away. So, uh, so in that turn I managed to kill a Panzer IV. That was it. But it's better than nothing. So over to Brian for his turn six. Brian's turn six. So the heavy machine gun finally legged it, taking the two half tracks with him. The uh, Panzer IV here stayed. These guys moved up, they could only get one getting a shot 
at the um, the T34, however they move, but I had to get a blitz in order to do that, and he managed it. Um, it, it missed, another one's fired at the Courtney Ground Infantry and missed. This guy managed to get a hit, but um, it saved, so it stayed alive. The half tracks finally killed a heavy machine gun. The mortars and the wasps focused in over here and managed to kill two um, of the remaining artillery. And the grills are still trying to chip away here, but they're not having any success yet because there's only two of them. Um, and it's a three up save for infantry. So, progress for Brian against my artillery once again. I'm looking pretty thin. I've only got one tank left to come on the table, so I've got to see if I can push on and take an objective whilst trying to hang on over here. The surviving T-34 ran away. The surviving 76mm ran away. That mortar is still sticking about and you can do a bombardment this turn. My last reserve came along, I got a 4. It's coming up here. It's a long way to go, but you're going to see if he can be a nuisance. Then over here, these guys just um, uh, dashed, uh, train dashed. And these guys moved out with a tactical and a follow me. Um, see if I can get a push on. He's going to have to swing those tanks around and clobber me um, on the way over. So, why? One gun managed to move out of the wood, the other one tried to cross check and I should actually be up against that wall Um never made it across, I just want to try and swing them around, they might be useful they're still alive so anything that's alive in this army might be useful so over to shooting next so these guys on pin, so the heavy machine gun's got a target I've got targets, if two heavy machine guns, there's one, two, three hits on the German half tracks, one potential bail. No, it's fine. Um, the infantry there are just going to stay on the ground. Um, I've got a mortar. I can try and range in on that same spot over there. So there's one, two, three, four, three of them are hit, but got a reroll. Oh well, so now what I need is three ones. Sorry, Brian. <sighs> Nearly two twos and a six, so it doesn't do anything. But that's not surprising. Uh, these guys don't have any targets. He doesn't have any targets. The guys dashed. So that's it for me. We'll see if Brian goes for the kill or goes for the defence. Brian's turn 7, so Panzer IV stayed, he decided to switch his Panzer IVs because they've got a good range to try and stop them. Half tracks moved up around here. Now in terms of shooting, all they managed was one hit over here because it was on the move and I was in long range and cover and the, um, I failed but I only got a bail. The, Motor half tracks ranged in on heavy machine guns, one hit, no fail. Half tracks, lost hits, no fails. Over here, oh my goodness, there's only three bases infantry left alive. I think I lost six bases that turn. They got lots of hits against them, but to be honest, the saving throws were pretty dire. Um, so that was shooting from here and from here. These guys just got themselves out of the way of that incoming company command. So, they're not yet checking, but it's pretty academic. They've got a company command and three bases uh, from a platoon left alive there. But we'll see. I might be able to cause a bit of mayhem with my T 34s. We'll see what happens next time. Soviet turn 7, this surviving little mortar stayed. Um, I forgot last turn I could have dashed him on. 24 inch move could have been starting the turn, this turn about, about here. Anyway, he's moved up to get a line of sight in the half tracks. These guys have a move, moved around to get a line of sight in the half tracks. He couldn't get 
totally you know what I could, but I'd have to go through the wood. I'll take a chance. Cross check six, yeah. Okay. So he can be. There's concealment there, but there's a half track um, visible. Uh, the heavy machine goes unpinned. But this is where it's all going to come down to, I think. So, just to reward the uh, his persistence, we'll roll this mortar against these half tracks. Two possibles, and we're rolling because there's only one gun. That's one hit. And a six is fine. Right. Over here, now I've got a few options. Um, got two stationary 57 mils. And that's three fives. Now I'm just going to double check. Yeah. So. That's three hits, that's Hatch. Um, but there's only one, two visible. So I'm going to stack two onto that guy there. I don't think it matters too much. So two five pounds, a four, which will do it, and a four. So the both, they are now that's the command vehicle. So the commander rolls a two, so he's a casualty. And then the other vehicle, Six and a three, so there's two bases of infantry that are okay. Excuse me, folks. Take them from here. Right. Then, company command. Can have a go, and they still got eligible targets. Heroes a one. Right. One guy in cover rolls a six. The three in the open get a five and a six. So that's going to be three hits. So it's dead, 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 dead. That's all of them. I have to do a quick measurement here, folks. Yep, and all three are eligible to be hit. So I'm going to do one, two, three for five pounds. One, two, three. Two sixes and a one. So two saves on that. Fine. Um, and this guy is company command. So company commander and setting the command they're okay. Right. Now if you give me two seconds, folks, I really need to put these guys down on the table. Come with that. And just to make it easier. So kind of like that, there's one half track operational on a build, one half track build. These guys can shoot now, but they'll get bulletproof cover and concealment. So it's going to be one. These guys will be four shots, but a penalty because they're just rifle teams. And they managed to get two hits and then one without a penalty on a one. No. So the, um, the two hits, I'm close enough to say I want to target the company command. So. Commander, sending command, a six and a two. Side command fails, but it's behind the wreck. I need a six and I get a one. So it's okay. Um, and that's it for shooting there. Just getting some dice ready for the heavy machine guns. Right, so there's five heavy machine guns can shoot the half tracks. And they managed to get, let me see, right, so that's two, this will be two that are on lower ground. In fact, it's only four heavy machine guns. Right, two on lower ground where you'll get concealment, manage four hits, and then the ones that are higher up. Right, so that's going to be nine hits, so one is taking three. Three saves and one, that's two potential fails. And one, two, three. Okay, two of them have potential bales. First one, no. The one with two, no. 
so that's fine. So um, that's going to be all the shooting for over there. Am I strong enough to do an assault? Let me see the bill. I don't think so. <laughs> I think I best best to head my bets. Right, okay, so um off to Brian now for his turn eight. Brian's turn eight. Right, so one tank was able to tactically move and get a shot at the rear of the T thirty fours and missed. The other ones are just uh, dashing. The half tracks are continuing to move around the flank there. There. These guys are moving over, the mortars, to contest the objective. They're moving over as well. The infantry dug in. The West tried a blitz and failed. And then, um, in terms of shooting, these guys managed to get another two bases off that platoon. There's only one left. Um, the Wesps managed to get a hit, even with a slow-firing failed blitz, but only managed to bail. Uh, these guys got some hits, but uh, they all saved. Um, that's it, I've got to now try and shift on him. I, I don't know if I can. We'll see, we'll give it another turn or so, and, and otherwise you know, it's, it's just going to be time out. We'll see what happens. Movement this turn wasn't very much yet for me. The um, company command moved up, one of the guns moved up to get the line of sight, one stayed put. They stayed put, and he stayed, and um, company commander obviously, the company commander, in fact, I've not tried to dig in, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder, I just, they should try and dig in, and they're not very good at digging in, they'll die next time. <laughs> right, um, so I think it's just on to shooting now, so, what's going to happen is, One of the anti tank guns, Osher Wisp. It's not moved. A two and a four, I'm going to do it. The other one is going to have to shoot over here. I think it's going to shoot this half track. And guess a one. Right, the T 34s. not concealed against the wisps, so I'll go for wisps. One of them is. Okay, so this one, first of all, going for wisps, gets a hit. The other one that's not concealed gets two hits. So that's one hit each on the wisps, and then other ones are going for the um, stumals. And that'll do it. That's two hits each on the stumals. So two firepowers on the stumals. Uh, one's dead, and one another one's dead. So two dead stumals, and then the wisps individually. So there's one, two, and three. So one, two, three. A one, a cocked, and four, the cocked are three. So it's a bale and two deads. One bale, two dead. These guys are just going to stake on the ground. Can't think of anything else to do with them. Then the half tracks are going to continue the argument with the heavy machine guns. So the ones where they'll be concealed is one, two, three, four, five, and the ones that are in the open, one, two, three, four, five, or ten. Right, okay. One half track will take three saves, and it's fine. Another one takes three, and it's fine. One takes two, and it's fine. And two, and it's fine. Not having any effect there at all. Um, so there you go, I think we're going to play one more round because Brian's got a plan to try and do something to that objective. And um, we'll see that there's potential for an assault on here as well. So we'll see what happens. Brian's turn nine. Half tracks carried on, there's a little move around the side there. The Panzer Fours all moved up to get rear shots. The grills, um, 
dashed over to here. Then in terms of shoot it over the the west leg that by the way, um, the survivor of that infantry platoon is now dead. It took millions of hits. <laughs> it wasn't dug in. He made about ten saves. I kid you not, and then failed. Um, so he's gone. Then in shooting, the Panzer Force only managed to bail out a couple of T-34s. Um, he didn't have a lot of shots and um, I rolled some good saving throws and or some poor fire powers on Brian's part. Then over here, Brian wanted to put an assault in, but would you believe it? This is the time when I actually managed to kill dug-in infantry with MGs. He killed two bases that left only one half-track able to go in for the assault and believe it or not, I got bailed on the way in. <laughs> Um, it was a six for five power um, assault uh, or turn all round over there. So I'll give it a go and uh, see if I can do anything over here. So my turn nine, uh, the T-34s are moved in. He passed the cross check. The guns, this one moved up, that one stays still to get shots over here. They're a bit of command, so the one at the back. Um, well, uh, was that a penalty? And we'll have to make a check as well if I go about that. Over there, I just did put. Um, Brian can come in for another assault. Uh, but I've got I've quite a few infantry over there, so I had a 2 plus in assault as well. So if he comes anywhere near them and doesn't force me away, when I go back, I could kill everybody in the half track in one turn, so it's quite good. And then shooting over here, they managed to get. The two grills that um, moved up for to contest and also to um, do counter fire. So we're ready to do the assault now. We're not really going to be able to do this on camera. We both want to roll the dice for this, folks. So you're just going to have to come back and see what happens. Well, that was a big non-event. <laughs> uh, we went in. The Panzerfaust didn't hit in counter fire. Managed to kill one base, and then the Germans on the way back. Oops, actually, no, they managed to bail one tank. Hold on a minute, I'll just put it in there. Managed to bail a tank in the assault, and then I rolled three to counter attack, followed by another three um, for the, the re roll for the company commander, and there ends the assault. Well, folks, after nine turns, we're going to call it, um, call it a rather brutal draw. Uh, we both lost quite a few um, forces there. The Stimmels went, the Wisps went, the Grills went, my heavy and medium artillery, my mortars went. So it was uh, quite a bruising encounter, but we're going to call it a draw. I mean, it's, it's pretty close here. I mean, just maybe a motivation test or two away from a result. Over there, it may be the same, you know. The half tracks could come in, the infantry could maybe dismount from the half tracks and maybe just a motivation test or two away from a result over there too. But there you go, it's a draw. Neither side was able to concentrate sufficiently to get the win. And that's quite often the case with these kind of games. It can, can come down to for scattered reserves where your reserves arrive. I know now I should have just dashed with my... Um, Reserve Platoon and Company Command straight away to get over here. That would have given me another turn. That might, might have done it. Likewise, if they hadn't rolled out of five dice, they got one hit and they went when they went in for assault. And then they've got two threes to, to um, counter attack. That's no good. You know, but they could have stayed in. Maybe um, pushed the, the Germans back off the objective. Over here was it the right move for Brian to be defensive with his Panzer Force. Or should he have gathered his Panzer Grenadiers and Panzer Force and gone in for the assault? Some of the infantry in buildings, but if he'd have contacted the ones outside with the Panzer Fours and pushed me back, forced me to fall back, that might have done it. That might have um, given him the leverage he needed to uh, push onwards to that objective. So let us know what your thoughts are, guys. If you're looking at the game going, oh no, why are they doing that? Put it down in the comments and uh, share your thoughts with us but thanks for watching please do all the good stuff like liking subscribing sharing and, and all those kind of things it helps us build the channel and we'll see you on the next one